Hello everybody and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4 Cradle of Civilization. Now with the new DLC comes a bunch of new features and I decided to test out those new features with uh, an achievement run for one of the new achievements which is called A Hero's Welcome which is to start as Karaman here and to form the Sultanate of Room, which is, uh, let's see here, I think, let's see, Restore the Sultanate of Room. It is quite large. It's basically Anatolia. You have to knock the Ottomans out, which is going to be a tough one. Now, uh, we're going to need to pick some rivals, and I think I, I know who I want in mind. Cyprus is definitely going to go on the list, because I want to take that island. Well, it's right there, and it's strategic. Uh, Genoa, I think that's a fine choice, because they're far away, so I'm probably not going to have to deal with them that much. And Kandar, which, who's Kandar? I have no idea who uh, Kandar is. I'm not familiar, I don't play over here that much, so I'm not familiar with a lot of these. Oh, it's up here. I was thinking more like these guys. Even though they like me quite a bit, uh, I need an enemy that I can expand into, so... Uh, do, 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 do... Where, where am I looking? Here we go. We're gonna go with these guys. I, I do apologize to them, but I, I need your land. Let's see, rival of rival. Rival of our rival is Crimea, so we're gonna do that. Oh, I believe we start out with just an awful leader, too. Zero, zero, 001 who is only 35 years old, so I could ha I, I might be stuck with a 001 for quite a long time. Quite a long time. And how stress Cyprus, you are independence guaranteed by the Mamlux. Mamlux are someone I want to buddy up to. Good, we can I can already send off an alliance there. I am going to send my other diplomat to... Let's see, um... Build a spy network up here, because I want to expand out a little bit. Alright, that's that's good. We can unpause. Accepted our offer of a military alliance, which is awesome. Oh, you know what? I just realized that I had to... I had a little issue start getting the game. Um, some of the game's features loaded up. I had to delete my... Um, all, all the... Hoi Force or Hoi Four U Four stuff in the the documents folder, which means it res, re, reset all my settings, and I don't have my custom my custom stuff done anymore. But we do have some interesting new things to work with. Uh, there are different uh, schools of Islam now, uh, which means that anybody who follows the same school uh, is going to have an opinion buff with me. <clears throat> Sorry about that. And I can try to foster good relations with various other schools. And something that's going to be important to me as a, as a small nation is this one. Army professionalism. As your army professionalism goes up, reduced morale damage taken by reserves, 50%. Army drill gain modifier, 100%. Whew, that is some good... Ooh, what is this one? Slacken recruitment standards. You have too low army professionalism. I don't know, even know what that does. It sounds like it would bring more people in, though. And uh, I know what I'm going to do right off the bat is I'm going to give ruler military command. The leader will be combined between... Well, what does my heir look like? Do I have one? I must have one. Oh, he's just as bad. So okay, okay. That's... I didn't realize that he was just as bad here. All right, so we're going to do this. It just, just being in command of the army doesn't actually need to be in, in battles. Re uh, increases his likelihood of dying in combat. Enable army drilling. Okay, so this is going to be important to me. When drilling an army gets low morale and requires full maintenance costs, non-mercenary regiments gain army drill and contribute to the army professionalisms while drilling. Based on its current share of our land forces, drilling this army gives army prof yearly army professionalism 0.7%. Chance of a skill increase. Oh, I didn't know it did that, but we are definitely going to do that. We are going to start drilling these guys. Yeah, stabby, stabby. Yeah, stabby, stabby, stabby. I like that. This whole thing is new. Levied troops. Hmm, I can't. I, I I can't wait to test some of this stuff out because I think it's going to be very interesting. What is this? During war... Oh. 
Oh, that's a good button. I like that. Select a mission, protect trade in Aleppo. What do we got here? We got a couple more of these guys. We're going to mothball them. That reminds me, we need to... Uh, well, I don't know if we have access to these trade. No, I don't have access over here. I do have access over here. So let's collect from trade here. And why don't we collect from trade over here too? Because all the trade flows in this way, some of it coming from uh, like the Silk Road, some of it coming in from India. Is it all going to... Let's see, this one... Oh, no, 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 actually, this one comes in... Yeah, this is from India. Okay, cool. So, I can get some good trade going down here, but... Why don't we let just a few days pass? Oh, what is it? What do we got here? Playing the courts. Well, the Hanafi school is the officially sanctioned school of the Beylik. They There are many courts in Cadiz. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of this stuff right. Throughout our lands... And all four of the schools of faith are deemed appropriate for civil procedures. This means that, to some extent, it is possible to play the courts by bringing a case before a cadi for a school considered more likely to give a beneficial ruling to a specific case. Uh, a merchant in Konya has become so good at this that he has angered not only the local population and his business competitors, but also the local governor. There's not much we can do about this without making inroads into the privileges of the ulema. And sure, this band is dealt with. Okay, this is going to actually affect this. Current piety. Mysticism can do missionary strength, morale of armies, and fort defense. Legalism gives tax modifier, national manpower modifier, and tech cost. So I think right now, legalism is important to me. So I'd kind of want to move towards legalism. Yeah, he, make sure he's dealt with. That gives me tech costs, minus 1%, national manpower up to, and national tax modifier up to as well. I like that. Oh, uh, I just realized that, oh, okay, this guy's returning, so hang on, let's pause again. I don't want to waste any of our startup time here. Can I, di can I do anything dynastic? I gotta wait till December 12th. Um... I think I'd rather be up here improving relations with the Crimea. It wouldn't, it's not going to take too long to get that up, so let's put this up a little bit. We got our fort here. Oh, and uh, let's take a look at trade goods. So I think that's in here, trade goods. Let's drag the... How do I do this? I thought... Uh, is it click? Click. Click. There we go. All right, so trade goods. Look at the livestock. There is livestock. That is going to be a game changer, I feel. Because livestock gives plus 50% to supply limit. What does paper do? Parchment? State maintenance. That's a good one. I know there's a couple. I, 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 uh, let's see. Is it incense? Trade uh, value. That's a good one. A lot of coffee down here. Is this gems? Gems, yeah. Local tax modifier, that's a good one. Which one is this? That's silk, and that is cloth. Okay. I was like, was silk always a thing? I know cloth was always a thing. I don't remember silk being a thing, but I could, I, I, it's been a while since I've really delved into some, some EU4 here, so I could be wrong on that. I don't, I don't, I, why are the Mamluks guaranteeing the independence of Cyprus? I don't. I don't play over here, so I'm not really sure how the the politics go. I like playing in Europe. I like playing the New World. Um, and I like playing, like, down here in the Pacific. My bay. The Ottomans have started to influence the nation of Crimea. Okay. Ming, Mamluks. Mamluks are Wow. Wow, this looks like Cradle of Civilization has really bumped the power of the Mamluks early game. Look at that. Were they always number two? I thought the Ottomans were up there. Lithuania, Castile, and here I am down at the bottom. But they like me, so that's a, that's a step in the right direction. All right, so let's take a look. Let's speed down just a little bit. Let's take a look at what we could do here.
So we have the options to set our merchant to specific tasks. Works Tyler's to maximize profits. Your merchant will gather intelligence from countries active in the same node. Spy network construction. Improve inland routes. Your merchant will gather knowledge of the terrain in this node, which will benefit your armies. Wow. Siege ability. Whoa. That is some cool stuff you could do. That is pretty nifty. Establish communities. Improve relations. So that just helps with improving relations. Propagate religion. Okay, and then you could try to actually propagate your... real. Oh, that that's pretty cool. You try to influence the nations in a trade node you control heavily religiously. That's That's pretty cool. I like that. We're probably gathering next to nothing over here, but... If we move, this fleet might be able to get us a little bit of money if we protect over there. No, it's not doing anything, really. We don't have enough power to really make it worth it. We don't have enough money for a... Uh, for any of these guys yet. So we're going to be really low on points for quite a while. Until I can get one of these guys murdered, murderized. I don't think we're going to have very much of anything. Surrender of Maine. Okay. It's right over here. Thamond, Silgo, Portugal. Thamond? That over here somewhere? Thamond. Where's Silgo? I have no idea who that is. Although I don't know who a lot of people are because... <laughs> I could tell. Oh, they're training too. Look at that. 0.17%. So it looks like if you've got if you if you if you have no professionalism, you get a bonus to merc cost and available mercenaries, and then as it goes up, you get other bonuses. So you you that's that's pretty nifty. I like that. That's cool. I like how that works. Been warned not to go to war with any other countries. Well, I mean, that's still five times better than my my leader in my air now. But it's our it's already got me rolling my eyes. Look at this. Zero zero one one zero zero five zero zero. So of nine possible <laughs> of nine possible fields here, six of them are populated with zeros. So if uh, if I remember correctly, when you get warned, the 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 nation that's warning you is says that you can't go to war with anybody that they touch. I think if I remember that correctly, there where, where would warning be in here? This is me. It just said, but it says, if Carmen goes to war. We're going to have to wait. I think we're going to have to wait for a tick here. For some stuff to go down. Darga. The, the Sufi Sikh has passed away in Kayseri. And his followers are now putting up a shrine in his honor. Pilgrims from various parts of the country are already starting to come to the province to see the shrine of this great man. Some calling him a saint. Local notables have set aside a charitable donation. Uh, it's made have set aside a charitable donation. Its maintenance and its former pupils have opened a, a lodge nearby. There's nothing wrong with honoring a great man. I'm loving new events, by the way, because I'm so used to EU4 events. I'm just like, yeah, click, 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 click. But as the new ones pop in, I'm like, oh, I actually have to read this. Trust me, the point of the uh, ulema. Feels that this form of worship is sacrilegious. Should Ibrahim II pay the shrine in Kayseri to visit, it might do much. What? Pay the shrine a visit, it might... Is it just me, or is this thing, like, not localized to English at all? I, f I, feel, I feel like I'm either an idiot, which is... I mean, call me an idiot if you want, because a lot of times I'm an idiot. But... Should Ibrahim pay the shrine in Kasiri a visit, it might do much. That doesn't sound like proper English. But let's see here. 
Uh, well, legalism. It's not feed into superstition. Yeah. Tax income. Two ducats. Like, is that just a flat two ducat increase? Per year from that province, I'm assuming. Let's let the, the month cycle and see what happens. That went up a little bit. It did. Playing the courts. Okay, this happened before. We're going to go towards legalism. Because that's going to get us a tech cost bonus. Because Right now we are super low on PowerPoints. And we're going to be super low on PowerPoints for quite a while. Oh, I haven't looked at our ideas yet. Okay, so yearly army tradition, plus 0.5. Core creation cost, minus 20%. When we gain all of our ideas, we get discipline, 5%. Stability cost modifier, minus 10%. Culture conversion cost, 20%. Manpower recover speed, 20%. Cavalry combat ability, 15%. Diplomats. Development cost, religious unity, and your lead legitimacy. And these are all the same. This hasn't changed. I don't think so, at least. So this should be the same, 20 points. So we're going to fabricate that claim. And I can't remember if you're warned, because I I, I could have sworn being warned before meant that you can't go to war with anybody they touch. But I could be wrong. It couldn't be anybody you touch. Or it could just be not at all. I don't remember what it is. But we will see. Ottomans declared war on Byzantium. Like you do. Athens and Siberia. Siberia, Serbia. Oh boy. So I wonder if you're tra if you train well, uh, I wonder if uh, the the militarism, the army professionalism, is that it? Army fr professionalism. I wonder if it goes up faster if you're doing more men or if it's just a total uh if it's just a percentage of your total. So if you're doing if you have 10 regiments and they're all going, does it go up the same rate if you have 100 regiments and they're all going? That's what I'm wondering here. Ooh, siege ability. That's a nice boost. May build supply depots. Refill garrison. Regain manpower when disbanding. General cost, minus 50%. Reduce morale damage taken by reserve. My, that stuff just stacks right up. Cyprus. Uh, I'm okay with them declare if they want to do that. If they want to attack me, I'm okay with that. The Mamluks wouldn't join them. Ramazan. Oh, they fabricated claims on me. Oh, that's fine. Fabricate claims on them. And recall this guy. That's fine. Who did you ally with? Kandar, which is up here. And AQ? Who's a that's AQ right there. Okay, that's fine. AQ, you like me as well. So why don't we, why don't I, I'll I'll throw my I'll throw my hat in that ring too. And why don't we take a look at these guys? Declaring war on a fellow Sunni will move us away from legalism. They are allied with AQ and Kandar. Um, Ottomans fabricated claims. That's that's unfortunate. Uh, the the Mamluks are on my side, though. So that's good to know. So if I attack these guys, I could e immediately wipe their army out without an issue. The problem is, is this guy getting to me? The Mamluks will... If I promise them land, they'll join me. But... That's probably not the best idea in the world. Let's, uh, can I send an alliance offer over this way? Profiteering in Konya. Growing tired of the local influence of the greedy, uh, Bit Bitlisi merchants. They claim using their unfair advantage to outcompete local businesses. They demand that we step in and limit the influence of foreign traders in the area and reaffirm the privileges of our own merchants and artisans. Let's see. I don't know who that is. So I'm okay with, with with them not liking me. 
January 15th, I'll be able to send an alliance offer. I need to get this web up. The Mamluks are on my side, which is great. I de definitely need them on my side. So relations, let's improve relations with the Mamluks. I hope I don't die, like, right away to the Ottomans. Starting right next to the Otto Bros, I thought was a, a rough idea. And I just want to, I'm not, a, eh, no, we're not going to do that right now. I was going to test something, but I was like, nah, then I have to recall, recall a merchant, so I don't want to do that. And we're almost done with our first mission. That's good. Ooh, and I haven't looked at my estates really yet. It's just while I'm looking over here, I was like, can I get any... Oh, with each year, the holy city of Kayseri has an increase in the number of pilgrims that seek the shrine there. The faithful come from all corners of the, Islam of the Islamic world, bringing commerce, goods, capital, and new ideas. God is good. Uh, ducats and prestige. Okay. So this is a, a holy site. And all I have is improved prestige. That's a rough one. Okay. What does this do? Riddler must have military skill of three. Move towards legalism. I get increased prestige. Probably, yeah, it's probably, yeah. It's gonna be a hard, a hard road to, to hoe to get those. All right, so let's pull you back. Get myself access to that dude. Okay, so now let's take a let's do let's do a little test here. You're not gonna join me. You're gonna join them. I was kind of hoping that you'd stay out of it, but whatever. But if I if I tried on you, the Mamluks would come in. Or the Ottomans, I mean, yes. Okay, so that's that's good to know. And if I declared you war on you, everybody and their mother would come, including the Mamluks. Alrighty, alrighty, good to know. Good to know. So I think we're just gonna have to play this cool for a while. So let's go to here. Let's try to increase some relations over here. Man, if they if they declare if I declare war on these guys and they join in against me, wouldn't they take a big would they take a big hit because we have a royal marriage and they'd be dissolving the alliance? Thought they would. I'm not I'm not positive though. Drilling. This regiment has 16.66 artery drill out of a maximum of 100. Okay, so individual regiments will cap out at a certain point. Good to know. From this, they get land fire damage, land shock damage. Okay, that is that is cool. National epic. Yes, I love a good story. Yearly prestige, but I lose a little bit of admin power. I haven't spent any yet. Not that I got much to spend, but... I would love to attack these guys, but enemy of enemy. I just I just want to expand. Unhappiness amongst the clergy. I'm okay with it. I got a little wiggle room and I kinda want that prestige. If I could get that up to fifty without through through events, then uh then I'm in a good spot. And right now that's the only way to do it, really. So let's see. So these, the Mamluks are Shafi'i. You're Hafani. Han, Hanafi. Hanafi. Wow, look at that ruler. Compared to me. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I knew that was going to be a rough start. So I think we don't have we don't have much to do here other than just waiting. So I think what it is is to get your army professionalism really high, you do need a large military because I think what's going to happen is once these guys get all the way up, then then they can't uh actually affect the total anymore. Oh, that went away. Great statesman has died. Royal marriage has ended. 
Well, let's let's uh let's redo that. Let's redo that. Woohoo! Okay. What does this do? Invite a scholar. So I can invite a Shafi'i scholar. Admin power 50. Oh, so they have to like me a lot. And then I can... I can invite the scholar over. Okay, cool. So and then that lets me know that I, I'll have an extra merchant. I do have an extra merchant. It's not like I'm going to be doing much with that merchant right now. Because I don't have the... Uh, I don't have the, the, the trade range to really get anywhere where it's going to be useful. So we'll just throw them out. We'll probably just get a pittance. If anything, we got to give it a month to propagate. Yeah, a pittance. What I could do is I could increase, well, I say I could increase the number of ships I have to try to make a difference here, but I think no matter what, it's not going to make that much of a difference. We're not, we just don't have enough trade power. Still in a position where these guys would join in against me because it's a defensive war. Relations. Let's keep improving those relations. And hope, hope for, hopefully I die is what I need. I need to die. I can demand some military support, which is not bad at this point. Oh, wow. That's me. Thanks, bro. Well, I appreciate that. I I I do like you more, Mr. Mamlux. That is ideal. Now this the knights, you are guaranteed by Venice, allied with Poland. Byzantium is at war, still technically holding out. But yeah, Ottomans always kill Byzantium. Well, usually I almost started a playthrough as this guy, and then I was like, you know what? That could easily lead to dying in the first episode. Because there is a, there is a, um, Saladin's quest or something like that. There's a, a uh, an achievement for starting as this guy and, and reforming not Persia, or I don't remember which nation. I, 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 did, I, I looked over the achievement so briefly, I don't remember exactly what the the goals of that one were. But it looks like we are just about out of time for the day. And uh, we haven't done much, honestly. We've just done the initial setup. But that's okay. There's no need to to rush and speed five through this. If you have enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can find all pertinent links to social media outlets, uh, and like Discord, Twitter, Patreon, things like that provided down below. And I will see all of you next time. <laughs>